Hello and welcome. My name is Kurt Naderville. I am the CEO of Rainstar Capital Group and today I'm excited for you to watch this presentation because today we're going to be talking about one of our favorite subjects here at Rainstar, uh, which is bankers. Okay, We love uh, commercial bankers. Okay, Our firm is a national leading debt advisory firm. Uh, many of the individuals that work at our firm are ex-bankers or folks that have worked either as SBA lenders, commercial real estate lending, uh, you know, ABL lending inside of a bank. And so one of the things I think you'll really appreciate about working with our firm is a lot of our folks are very similar to you, right? You know, very similar to working, you know, folks that have worked at a bank. And so here at Rancer Capital Group, we've built one of the most diverse lending platforms out there. Uh, we have 250 registered lenders on our platform and we provide for our clients uh, commercial real estate, corporate finance, small business, and equipment financing. And in a nutshell, what our lending platform does is it finances clients from 10,000 to 100 million across commercial real estate, corporate finance, small business, and equipment financing. And we have every credit box covered and we have every interest rate box covered, okay? We have worked incredibly hard uh, to be able to build up such a diverse platform. And for a banker, one of the big things and the big battles that you experience is that most bankers can only provide a paper debt right? Meaning if you have a client that doesn't fit you based on credit, cash flow, or collateral, they then are falling into the B, C, and D categories, okay? And in our world, uh, because we've built such a diverse platform, we have the ability to service those clients, and we have the ability to then basically provide what we call a bridge to bankable solution, okay? So I want to write that down, and uh, bear with me because my handwriting is not the best, but uh, I think you'll understand the, make, the message. So a bridge to bankable means is that we can take any one of your clients and provide that bridge to be able to help them get back to where it is that you need them to be in the bankable state, right? So many banks sometimes don't like clients that don't have two years of experience. Many banks don't like it if, if the client doesn't have an, an X amount of revenue, right? Again, we have solutions that can be basically that bridge, okay? And I wanna talk about some of those solutions and kind of where it is that we can help clients, okay? So some of the times you'll have clients that have international accounts receivables, okay? We have built a phenomenal lending platform of factoring firms that will provide solutions to clients that have international or foreign receivables, okay? The second thing that we see is that a lot of clients, a lot of bankers come across construction companies that also have accounts receivables. And not a lot of the factoring firms out there like to do it because it's uh, finance the receivables because it's progressive billing. And so when it comes to the construction space, whether it's you know general contractors or sub contractors, um, we've got a whole host of solutions. Uh, we, we love the construction space because of the fact that Contractors typically like to get um, a couple different solutions on our platform. And so, again, the construction space is a space we're very active in. And, and as a banker, um, you know, we can provide a lot of great value to your clients. Along with that is the medical space. Again, when you look at accounts receivables, a lot, not a lot of the uh, factoring firms out there like to finance medical receivables. But the great thing is here at Rainstar, we've developed a really robust platform of all the providers out there that do medical receivable financing, okay? So along with that, we can provide all the different equipment solutions to clients. And so we have a whole range of products that fit equipment. We can pretty much cover normally every type of equipment, including some of the different random solutions. Like let's say you have a client in Maritime, right? Where it's um, you know, like a freight ship, for example or just those, those random hard to do pieces of equipment, we normally have, have a lender for it, okay? And then when it comes to equipment, a lot of lenders um, obviously will look to finance the equipment based on the cash flow, right, and the collateral value. But if a client doesn't fit the cash flow solution, we have a very popular program here at Rainstar called our No Credit Check, No Income Check Equipment Financing. Uh, that's on deal sizes of 200,000 all the way up to 50 million. And essentially the lenders for that will finance up to 80% of the forced liquidation value of that equipment. So if you have a client that's coming out of bankruptcy, a client that is in startup mode, uh, maybe right now you have a client on the backside of your bank, meaning that they're in default, right? 
um, you know, that, that can be a great value proposition to be able to help that client that's in that situation, okay? So we are very active in equipment, right? Along with that, we have all of your different purchase order lenders. So typically we like to do purchase order lending kind of on higher dollar amounts. So we typically like to only do deals like in the half a million dollar range for POs. Uh, but PO lenders is very powerful. Another thing that bankers sometimes don't always know about is uh, inventory uh, lenders. So we have lenders that'll provide uh, inventory lines of credit, um, which is very popular. That's, that's, a, that's a niche basically that not a lot of bankers know about, but once they learn about, they get very excited about because they can then have another way for their client to access additional liquidity, okay? So along with that, uh, we, we pretty much cover everything when it comes to commercial real estate. We have all your solutions for new construction, all your solutions for cash out refinances, all your solutions for purchase capital. Uh, when it comes to, let's say you have a client that's doing uh, tenant improvements, um, we've got some really good TI programs um, so commercial real estate, again, is another value add that we have. And then finally, uh, we have working capital solutions. So we have products that will come in and take second lien position behind like an SBA loan or behind a traditional bank revolver or bank term loan. Again, this is a powerful solution because if the client is needing additional working capital, these products essentially help them to grow, okay? And so working capital solutions in the form of lines of credit and term loans, are very popular. Um, the speed at which those products can, can get funded is popular as well. We can fund clients in 24 to 48 hours via some of our fintech lenders. And then the final thing that I really want to talk about for banks, and this is really important, especially for the leadership of banks, is that we are very active with some of our banking partners right now in what we call lender recapitalization. So every bank out there has a portfolio of performing debt, semi-performing debt, and non-performing debt, right? Now, obviously, the regulators are always coming in and making sure that your portfolio is balanced, right? Uh, because obviously, they don't you know, want you to go through what happened back in 08, right? And so with our firm and our platform, we partner with bankers, and if they have bad loans on their books, we can come in and basically refinance those out with our platform of 250 lenders and get the, the lender 100% of their capital back. And we do this not just on non-performing loans, but we can also do this on performing debt, okay? Now you might be asking, why as a bank would I you know, refinance out my performing loans? That doesn't make any sense, right? Well, inside of your portfolio, maybe you've made loans to maybe like a higher risk industry. Maybe it's construction, for example. Everybody knows that construction normally does really well when the economy is booming. But if uh, a downturn happens, then you know the construction space can kind of falter, right? And so with us, um, you know, again, we have the ability to come in and refinance out all of those different loans that you might want to get off your books. And the beautiful thing is, you, like in the example of that construction company, you as the bank will keep the depository relationship, right? Because a lot of our lenders are non-bank lenders, and so that allows you again the bridge to bankable concept. You're gonna keep the client, you keep making money off the deposits, you keep making money off the treasury management services, you keep making money off the other financial services. Let us bring a non-bank lender in, let's get that company repositioned so that they can achieve their growth targets. And then once they are you know, back into a good state, you then can come in and basically be the takeout capital and essentially you know, refinance out. So, so we absolutely love working with commercial bankers because of a lot of the things that I just described. Number one, we can bring business to your bank, okay? We have lots of clients that are in these different areas that once they become bankable, we need a partner like you, okay? Second, if your bank is experiencing any sort of problems, uh, this platform that I just described in some of these different niches, this is where we can help you, okay? So we encourage you to come check out our website. Uh, we have built our own magazine called Brainstar Capital Group's Ultimate Lending Guide. The, the, the magazine highlights all 250 plus of our lenders' products, okay? And I encourage you to reach out to our team of managing directors. Uh, we're in, I think, just under 30 states or so. So see if there's one of our managing directors in your local market. And we'll look forward to working with you.